11 new features coming to the MCC that are soon to be flighted. These are game changing features guys that you'll definitely want to know more about. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with everything going on with MCC and Halo Infinite. So let's get right into the content here. So in the recent August development update, we got a big list of everything that's what's going on with the MCC and some new features are going to be coming into the game. That are going to be drastically changing your gameplay experience and I think in this video I want to consolidate them all into one video to talk about them all individually in detail and how impactful each one will be. So the first thing we're going to talk about here guys obviously is crossplay between Xbox and PC that's actively in development. They say that they are looking to flight this pretty soon. This might even be thrown in with the Halo 4 flighting as well that should be coming relatively soon. This kind of goes without saying how impactful being able to merge the two populations together it's going to be absolutely huge as the community has kind of figured out roughly the numbers between the xbox community and the pc community xbox numbers peaking around 20,000 people playing at any time and also with the pc side of things we did just steam numbers of it roughly around 10,000 probably throwing an extra thousand for the uh, game pass users such as myself so being able to combine those all together is going to be fantastic It'll really help out with matchmaking times be able to find games and be able just to play with people me as a streamer it sucks not being able to play with certain people because they're on xbox and i like to play on pc so it's gonna be a massive improvement to the game though with bringing console and pc crossplay together this does bring in another feature which is number two input based matchmaking which is going to be a very important thing to take, take in consideration as there is an advantage between uh, playing controller and pc as controller does have pretty strong aim assist and also how the game fundamentally is designed to be played best on a controller so it's kind of understandable that when you try to bring these games that are pushing 20 years old in some cases to play just as well against a controller versus mouse and keyboard yeah, I can understand there being some issues right there. So the way they're going to be looking into doing input-based matchmaking is by doing it on a playlist-by-playlist -playlist basis and kind of just fine-tuning it from there, really. Uh, they mentioned game modes like Infection and Firefight. You'll have full advantage of cross-play as there really isn't much consideration when it comes to keyboard mouse and controller advantages and disadvantages there's social modes they're meant to be played and have fun so do you have full experience with that now when it comes to like more competitive modes like your forward four slayers your ranked modes and stuff like that i think it kind of will depend mainly on who you're partying up with obviously if you're a pc player you match up with a console player you go into matchmaking you'll get mixed lobbies if you're just a console player you'll be probably matching against just console players and vice versa if you're just a pc player you'll be mainly playing against other keyboard and mouse players uh, the way they make sure that they don't have any tomfoolery going on is they lock your input device at the beginning of your searches when it comes to matchmaking now this does sound like you won't be able to switch between mouse and keyboard and controller when it comes to in-game stuff which is kind of what I like to do I like to you know ultimately optimally I think the best way to play is uh, use a controller for shooting and use mouse and keyboard for vehicles but you might not be able to do that I try to reach out on Twitter but I haven't got any clarification I'm sure we'll know more as we move forward number three on this list is a better way to report players as we all know people like to abuse anonymity on the internet for sure and uh you know there's some people out there they're just so toxic that you kind of need to report them and doing it in the mcc is a bit of a hassle you have to go all out of the game you gotta go onto the website and the profile i haven't really done it because it's such a hassle i haven't bothered with it if there's a quick in-game way to do it while also make it at least somewhat difficult where you can't just you know, hit the start button ban you know something like that that's a little too easy i think that'd be abused so some way you can probably put it within the menu system to be able to report players would be really really well appreciated and uh, number four on this list is double key binds for all games this sounds like a minor thing but actually it's kind of important so being able to have double key binds will definitely improve your gameplay experience while playing on mouse and keyboard number five on this list here is regional server selection we talked about this in a previous video this is going to be 
really great for players who are gonna, you know, have issues when it comes to finding games. Or if you wanna make sure you have the best possible connection when playing your game, you can select just the server that's near you. It will also showcase uh, your ping it'll have for those servers and the population as well as a low, medium, or high population. So I know a lot of people that are like in Australia have a really hard time finding matches and have to match with people in the US to play games. And also, I'm, certain, I'm assuming some people in Europe probably have some issues. Me in the US, I haven't really experienced anything. Uh, there are been a couple times where I've matched over in Western Europe servers. I definitely don't want to play on those. And so be able to select how you're going to be able to play your game. The more options, the better. And I'm really looking forward to this. Number six on this list, custom game browser. This is going to be one of the features that going to keep the longevity of the MCC beyond the launch of Halo Infinite because there are so many amazing classic game modes that were created in custom games throughout Halo's lifespan between uh, CE through Halo Reach. And be able to browse through your games, be able to play what you want to play, it's gonna be so great. There's so many amazing custom games that you just can't really play in matchmaking because they don't transfer over very well. Uh, things like, you know, a lot of zombie modes, fat kids, Jenga, things like that. They just don't transfer over well to, you know, uh, matchmaking. Though if you play in a custom server browser, you'll be able to find those games pretty easily. And I would definitely would love to play those. It'd be a great way to do that. It works great in Halo 5. I just hope that maybe just jumping in and out of games will be a lot easier as in Halo 5 the, the menus kind of lag up a lot when people are exiting and joining into a game so hopefully that gets refined a bit but having custom game browser is going to be a huge advantage to the MCC to keep the lifespan of this game going especially as we have to wait, have to wait a little bit longer for Halo Infinite. Number seven on this list is additional video settings and options. Now this feature is really useful when you like to play multiple types of games. Currently right now on the MCC, there are some games that run really well on PC and some other games, not as well. So most namely Halo Reach and Halo 2 Anniversary say their unlimited frame rates are very choppy. Though if you can log at 60, it looks good. But there are other games like CE, Halo 2 Classic, and Halo 3, and soon to be ODST. When you're playing those games on unlimited frames, it's great, it's fantastic. I love playing those settings, but I don't want to have to constantly keep switching back and forth between my video settings to for each game. So be able to choose your video settings for each game would be really nice. It doesn't say each game, it just gives you additional options. I think it kind of plays into our next point here, which is gonna be number eight, in-game FPS cap and adjustments. Obviously, you don't wanna make your system work harder than it needs to when it comes to playing. Especially as me as a content creator, I like to stream, and uh, I, you know, I don't need any frames above 144 rate, fresh rate of my monitor. Many people out there with a 60 hertz monitor, 120 hertz monitors, you don't need more frames than that. Because other than that, it's just kind of more just excessive. So why make your system work harder for the same experience? Obviously, putting an in-game cap will definitely improve your uh, experience and have a much more consistent gameplay as well on top of that. Number nine on this list, per game audio options. Uh, now there are, are some games in here that use uh, classic audio, some modern audio, and uh, I'm sure you'll probably be able to, to adjust the different levels and stuff like that, because each game has its own kind of uh, volume when it comes to uh, the audio in the game. Some are louder, some are quieter, and so being able to mix that up would definitely be really nice. Number 10 on this list, PC file share. PC file share is gonna be something that needs to come along with the custom game browser as well. Uh, those kind of need to be tied together uh, just because obviously the PC file share is involving well with custom games and also other kind of, of social aspects when it comes to Halo and bringing that to PC will definitely be a really, really great feature. And lastly, number 11 on this list, view model adjustments for all games. If you don't know what I'm talking about, essentially what it is is basically when you're playing on say centered crosshairs in Halo Reach, the gun takes up a lot of your screen. So if you say, if you wanna play on centered crosshairs but want more visibility on your screen, View model adjustments will give you just that. Uh, there is a screenshot here kind of showing a basic example of what they're looking to do for right now. And it's, as you can see with the secondary screenshot, you can kind of see how the weapon is much more out of the way, how it gives you much more visibility, and just, you know, it's just a better experience overall. This really matters a lot, especially in Halo Reach uh, and also in CE as well. So when can we expect these flights to happen. Well, I'm expecting to have the release of ODST on PC happen on September 15th. That's just my guess. I've seen also other things saying that it might come out a little bit later as it hit the anniversary as ODC originally released in the month of September. Uh, so I would probably suspect these flights for Halo 4 
and these other features that happen most likely in the month of October is when we'll see this. Obviously then we'll have the flighting that usually takes about two weeks more or less depending on what kind of content is going to be in those flights and then once those flights start about a month later that's when the release happens so I probably wouldn't expect to see these features come out until around November. Though when the flighting does start which they do state in the blog it will start soon hopefully that I will definitely make videos and content to show you guys the experience that you'll have when it comes to playing these features. So if you want to see what these features are like as soon as they release make sure you tap subscribe on the channel guys to keep yourselves updated with everything going on with halo if you miss any videos from me or be on the loop for the last few days or so check out the videos on the screen right over here got a link to all my news and informational videos if you missed a few things out of the last few days or so so thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next one peace out